Well, hi there. <laughs>
They do breed readily in captivity, but as I understand it, like it's easy to get the eggs to be laid, but then the female, it's easy to overstress her where she mm, reclaims the brood. And so actually getting babies out seems to be a bit challenging, but I hope people start working on it. In fact, that's something that I'm gonna give a, a shot to this year. I've actually got two females and a male, so I'm, I'm hoping to be able to breed them. We'll see how it goes. When it comes to availability, we give the Vinegaroon a score of three out of five. These are often available online, but that can be very, very seasonal. Vinegaroons spend much of the year buried underground and nobody's gonna be able to find them. And so only during certain parts of the year are people catching them and then selling them. And they are fairly common to find at expos during the right season. You'll rarely find them at pet stores, but occasionally they can be found from pet stores. So they are out there. There are places to find them. You just might need to look online. All that said, even though they're super easy to handle, I find that I have to build up my nerve every time I pick them up. I know in my brain that they are delightful, harmless little creatures, but when you look into those eyes and those claws and those chelicerae and those wispy front leg antenna things, it just doesn't look like that should be okay. When it comes to upfront costs, we give the Vinegaroon a score of five out of five. The Vinegaroon itself is very reasonable to buy. Uh, you may actually end up paying more in shipping than you pay for the actual animal. That's just the reality of it. They also can be housed in some of the most affordable enclosures, you know, like a 10 gallon aquarium. That works great for them. Honestly, the substrate you're gonna need is gonna be one of the biggest costs just because you need a lot of depth. And even that doesn't cost a whole lot. You're gonna need a water bowl, again, shallow. I usually say a good lid, and I still recommend a good lid, but you know, in this case, maybe not even that great of a lid. Just a lid in case by some freak accident they end up near the top of the enclosure one day. Even the long-term feeding, which doesn't factor into this category, more into care, even that will be inexpensive. And you know, for all of these reasons, we give the Vinegaroon an overall score of 4.4 out of 5. These guys are just amazing. If what you want is a decently sized invertebrate, that lives a long time, is easy to care for, looks super scary, but is not, then the Vinegaroon may be the perfect pet invertebrate for you. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Train. Look at how well trained this Vinegaroon is. Uh, more Spanish accent, please. Oh. Well, hi there. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about the Vinegaroon. I am your host, Antonio Manderas. And today we are going to be talking about El Vinegaroon. Now do a southern accent. Well, hi there. Today we're going to be talking about the Vinegaroon. Boston accent. Well, I, I don't know. That's not at all it. That's not at all it. All I know how to say in a Boston accent is Boston. Boston. How about uh, Australian? Good eye. This is a Vinegaroon. Good eye there. I love it. It's so horrifying. I love it. Oh, you're so freaky. These claws are creepier than scorpion claws. Oh, you're delightful. Where are you going? Hmm? Any chance I get you to turn around and head back to my hand? Oh, you're very easy to work with. Ah, run away, run away. When danger reared its ugly head, the Vinegaroon bravely turned around and fled. Brave, 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 brave. Brave, brave Vinegaroon. Good girl. Oh, you're terrifying. Isn't that pure horror? You're delightful. <laughs> oh, your little tarsal claws feel creepy. Oh, hello. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remained within the sound of silence. I was wondering how long we'd go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the next part isn't really about vinegaroons anymore. It's about a <laughs> naked lad. <laughs> Well, hi there. Well, hi there. Well, hi there. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, what is she doing? Your face is so bad. <laughs> mm. Are you gonna cry? No. Okay. You good? <laughs>